Okay. Nope. They're Nami's just going to stick with the standard stuff. Nami is absolutely fine into the karma. Uh, but yeah, I think that this Fizz pick is definitely a big risk during the early laning phase. It is yeah. So he's going to struggle against somebody like Orianna. He certainly will. Compared to Haunter. Oh, here we go. As the mid lane play happens, Bjergsen's going to be bursted low, flashing away. It does not matter. The damage between a Fizz and a Graves is way in the item department. As Haunter gets thrown back into the turret with a very nice cask. Luckily, Svenskeren is there to keep him alive, but that was way too close. Yeah, that could very well have resulted in Haunter's death. Now, bear in mind, he does have the flash available, but look at where Levi is. just about to pick up his red buff. I think Svenskeren... Oh! <sighs> Okay. Instantly. Sees that opportunity and takes it. Meanwhile, Bjergsen, again, going to be jumped on. Tries to go for the Shockwave play on to Levi to make it a one for one, but cannot do it. Spinscaren coming in there, trying to mop this up if he can. Biofrost looking to make the play on to Levi. Manages to burn him down, but now Spin and Bio both going to be caught up in the bubble. That arrow doesn't find anyone. It's a one to four game. It's gone back and they still feel confident enough to go for this Drake as CSM go top lane. Then Scarin kicking Stark back as he makes his body slam forwards. Trying to stay on top of him long enough to get something happening here. A shockwave to seal his fate, and Sven Scarin will grab TSM, their second kill of the game. Meanwhile, Infernal that Tower is so much stronger. The Optimus might go for the all-in. Going for it and finding it. Turtle is out of there. Optimus now going to be locked down a little bit by Bio as Haunter makes his way into the fight. Going to be juggling him around and smacking him down. Shutdown credit goes over the pressure. Haunter trying to defend this as long as he can, but it's a five-man move from the Gigabyte Marines. And TSM can't defend it now. Haunter trying to go back into this. I don't know if that was a decision he wants to stick by as he's juggled back into the team. Not a good death for the TSM top laner. Find any success, and with Optimus rotating over, that's gonna go well for them too as Stark dies in the bottom lane, but it's the mid lane inhibitor oh turret God. that's now damaged down. But the Marines have disengaged for now. Haunter making his way into the fight. Dredge line gonna be flashed away from two. Haunter looking for a little bit more. Flashes forward, riptide into the auto attack into the lockdown oh, as Optimus has been behind the rest of TSM and he finds the kill oh, on the turtle as the shockwave makes the kill. Two fish down. As Levi comes back into the fight, looking to finish off Bjerg, but it is not going to happen today. Stark now trying to fight one versus in order to get this objective. Stark's got to be some kind of a hero here if he wants to stop oh, it. And a hero Stark. he will be. Bjerg's in force to run back, keeping himself alive now with the shield. Stark gets a kill onto one, but he stops the Baron. He did everything that he needed. Optimus perhaps between, caught between a rock and a hard place. Oh, Svenskeren kicks Optimus away. But now eats a lot of burst from Levi. Turtle, oh, oh no! That was an interactive gameplay experience <laughs> that he just enjoyed versus that Fizz. Oh. Ult into Proto Belt into Q. See ya! But also, why was Wild Turtle there? Uh, running down the river, uh, giving Optimus a play, but there, I mean, like. There's no reason to be running down the river. Take the safe route as the arrow hits on the bio. Uh-oh, speaking of why are you there, Biofrost gonna be eating a lot of damage on this one. Wave comes out, Bio still knocked Optimus. back. Optimus. Levi making his way into the fight. Bjergsen throwing the shockwave on himself, but it's not enough and two fall on TSM. Gigabyte Marines, now remember they've got this inhibitor exposed. And the push will come down mid lane. The traps just do not matter. They'll walk right over them and take this in him. And this is the skirmish style of the Gigabyte Marines. They uh, find a random Benius? pick. Are they? No, are they, no, no, they no way. Are actually trying this? This is risky. Okay. Gigabyte Marines, they want to end this game. Monster's got to stop them somehow. Slay going to be knocked out. The damage coming through. Svenskeren looking to finish him off. He does successfully do so. Turtle is killed on spawn, but the rest of the Marines have been routed. Stark and Levi have to try to leave this one, but Haunter with the lockdown, and Spin is here trying to stay on top of Stark. They managed to get all four. Now can they get Stark too? He stopped the Baron last for a second for oh. TSM, but now... An overextension by the Gigabyte Marines puts TSM back in a better spot than they were to begin with. Turtle will clear out the inhibitor down to half, down to a third, down to a quarter. Adios! The last auto attack does it. Stark finds his way into the fight. Haunter gonna be soaking up the fish though. A nice shockwave onto two. Slay's gonna be chased down by the ulti. Turtle falls to Optimus. Slay still alive. Optimus Zonia's 
trying to get himself out of this one. Hauser looking to chase him down. A little bit more damage will do it. Stark's going to be going down next. Three dead on the side of Gigabyte Marine. And TSM might just be able to make it happen here. They have the Baron empowered minions. They have to the teleport from Haunter. Only Optimus and Archie is left to stop them. TSM, they're going to bring us to a game five. Haunter coming back into the fight. Spin Scarin keeping Optimus away. They've got to just burn these turrets down. Archie's going to be going to, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be going to the final match as TSM will take down Gigabyte Marines and tie this sucker up. Listen to that crowd. Hometown or not, they know the words. TSM, evening things up.